Hey, 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 people. Fooler here. Welcome to a new series that I will be recording. This is Xenonauts, but this is Xenonauts with mods, specifically the X Division mod. This mod is really, really hard to play, so I decided to get some mods which will give me an advantage against the toughest shit that will get thrown at me. One of which is my starting soldiers will all have advanced stats. Another is I'll be starting with 800 million credits or just a lot of money, as well as a unique weapon type which is called the Gravitron Beam Emitter. This game came out a while, a while back ago actually. They're currently working on the second game which is Xenonauts 2. I've decided to join the, I requested to join the, the beta testers to test out the second game. And I will we'll be recording that on my channel. Anyways, so this game, oh my god, yo, I was playing, this, the first time I played this mod was a long time ago, two or three years ago. And this shit is hard as fuck. This, this game is, this mod is super difficult. It, it adds in aliens from uh, the, the Alien vs. Predator series, which, which are those xenomorphs. And it also adds in some other stuff too. It's just so freaking difficult. But another another mod I have installed with me is I increased the limit of besides like instead of having eight starting soldiers on your first drop ship, you I have sixteen. Uh, anyways, we're gonna press a new game. Now this game has three difficulties. Actually, it has four. I, I just I just saw this right here. This one here is, this is insane. If you beat the game and still haven't felt the burn already, you can try this difficulty. It's just a harder version of veteran. Got NG plus two. This mod was created for the difficult, for this difficulty and the aliens will operate at 100% efficiency. This is the difficulty for balanced, balanced test testers. Select this difficulty if you have a decent amount of experience and want to feel the intended experience head on and don't feel the consequences. NG plus one, this difficulty is for players who have a 20 year experience in XCOM, played the hell out of any other XCOM or XCOM game, played Long War on the insane difficulty and beat it with ease, or who grasped the basic principles of X Division and beat the second phrase of the game with a good prospect of continuation. And then NG, which is the difficulty we're gonna be, we're gonna be playing on. X this setting is for newcomers for veteran players, for XCOM enthusiasts, and for John Cena. No. Seriously, start with this difficulty once you get a hang of it. You are free to move up. And because vision is meant to be played the way you want it to be played. But we recommend a voluntary Iron Man playthrough without using the Iron Man options. So yeah, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm definitely gonna be playing on this one here. But we're gonna be playing on with Iron Man on because I'm a, I'm a sadist, you know. This Geoscape shows all of the tech errors. I'm not. I, I why I'm not going to be recording normal Xenomods because Xenomods with mods is way better, my guy. Way better. Like any game with mods is way better. Like it, it makes the experience better. The you you get you are more uh, you get you enjoy the game a lot more. Nice. First things first, we had to select our primary base location. We could have up to a lot of bases to, to use. So I'm going to have this. This is the circle right here. This little thing around my cursor indicates the, the scan rate of what my base detects. So it's better to put it somewhere where you're able to have like a lot of do, do a lot of missions and like the ship, the UFOs crashes somewhere. So you, you level up your dudes. If you put it like somewhere like a for example, Australia, there's not that much landing areas where the ship is going to like get shot down at. So we're going to put it in, let's put it in Indonesia, Indochina. Let's call this base, um, uh, sword, sword base. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Oops. Alien invasion. You've probably already noticed we've been evaded commander so i won't state the obvious the situation is bleak none of the major powers are able to defend their own airspace let alone protect the rest of the planet 
start. Welcome to X Division Commander. We face tough times, and it is more important than ever to collect knowledge and resources. Don't forget the knowledge. I mean, I will mostly do that for you, but it's important that your senses stay sharp and open for the coming challenges as our commander. Speaking of which, we managed to gather good funds for our project, but don't overestimate your income. Our predictions are that we'll slowly run dry as the alien invasion progresses. Cutting off a economic, 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 off, economic, anyways, I, yeah, trade routes and bombing our planet. We should get some good coverage over most of the globe pretty quickly. I suggest building two to three bases immediately to have them ready when we need them. We can always not, we can always not upgrade them later, but fully equipping a functioning base takes around a month. Time we might not have. Spend our funds wisely and always look for opportunities to learn. That's the only effective weapon we have, Commander. I have launched up the Hunter vehicle. All right, so yeah, first things first. We build. We need to build some bases. That's what the the game said. So we're gonna build another base right here in in Africa. Let's call it the um. Let's call it the uh, um. I don't know. Let's call it Helios, I guess. Uh, let's build another base in America. Call it the Wall. For obvious reasons, let's build another base in in uh, South America. Call it the Volley, 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 Volley. Because volleyball, I think I spelled that with a Y, with two Y's. I don't remember unless that's a V. And finally, let's build another base in New Zealand, Australia. Call it the uh, Spider Spider Fort. While oh, we're at it, let's build another base in over here in in the the Queens. Call it the the Majesty Majesty Um Fortress. All right, these are our six bases. Now, if we click on a base, we could put some stuff down in them. Like we could drag, not drag, actually. Yeah, we see we click one of these. Um. And we get to put place it somewhere. But we can't do that until the, the five base the five days pass for the, for the base. Um let's click on sword base. Click on our dudes. These are our, our current soldiers we have. And these are the ones that are currently in the in the first dropship. Okay, so we're gonna um I mean yeah, these are the, the soldiers we have equipped on the ship. You know, we got some pretty, we got some a pretty tight, tight grip of nationalities. You know, we got we got Maxim Yudin, Sophie Clark, got Christos Dracos, Vladimir Ivanov, Stefan Glinka, Chloe Evans, Robin Norton, which is our sergeant, M Maja or Maya Maja. B. Biniak, Miko Shroka, Natalie Clark, um, it, it's Suko Endo, Laura Stewart, Carol Martin, um, Andres Anastos, Katharina Sokolova, and Jules Leroy. And then over here, and on the side, we got our side our guys who will probably be guarding the base. Ronald Young, Harold Anderson, Olivia, or Olivia, Karasiski, Karaska, I don't know, and Alex Graf. Got some very unique faces, bro. And they got some really good stats. Really, really good stats. Now, if we were to recruit a soldier, um, hire soldiers, 
their stats are not going to be as great as those guys' stats. But the, the most important stats, I'd say, are is accuracy and time units. Time units, since this game is a turn-based strategy game, you do need a lot of time units to do a lot of stuff. All right, so let's go over to the construction. Where is that? I don't know where that is. All right, so we're gonna build more living quarters. What living quarters do? Since there's only one living quarter, it, it puts gives you 200 capacity. So we're gonna build another one, and another one. So we're gonna have 600 capacity. Missile batteries. Missile batteries are very important. They make it so that your base doesn't get raided. Medical place. We need one of these. Because we don't have one of those. Garage. Garage. We need another. We need a garage because we don't have a garage. I'm thinking about building a, a garage right here. That's uh Oh look, we have our first UFO. Alright, let's uh let's let's intercept that motherfucker. We're sending in both our F seventeens. Come on, do a stupid turn. Oh man, oh, they ran out of fuel. Oh my god, they abducted someone. Those animals. Intercept. Let's let's go again. Oh my god, finally, they're here. Okay, let's engage. Now, Xenonauts, what it does differently compared to the other games like these, you actually have an, an actual separate game mode called Air Combat. Air Combat can either be auto-resolve or fault manually in Xenonauts, depending on player preference. This is the manual method. Combat can be paused, unpaused any time using the spacebar. Each unit can be controlled individually with a shaded areas representing the fire arcs of their weapons missiles must be fire range and have target lock before they can be fired there are up to three units on each side the selected unit can be given a destination or target with left click and unit speed can be controlled with the throttle beside the unit an info panel some types of aircraft and ufo are capable of performing an invasive role triggered by the icon on the top panel which can dodge incoming projectiles. If an, if, a, if an interceptor is shot down in air combat, it will be recovered and rebuilt, but it will be out of action for a prolonged period of time. If an interceptor is badly damaged, fly it away from danger and use the retreat icon on info. But yeah, you could space space bar pauses the thing so you could like do something. Now, you know, each ship compared to XCOM enemy unknown. Um, you're able to, you actually have the abilities to like roll and stuff and speed up in XCOM Enemy Unknown. You have to buy the abilities, which, which sucks. That's right. Right along. Now, the Scout has more range than the, the version F-17s, but these, the F-17s pack a punch. Number two is gonna get shot down pretty soon, so I'm gonna dodge. All right, he's shot down. That's great. New projects available. Go to research screen. All right, now we gotta go research some stuff. You feel me? Feel me, fam? 
Men's research. All my scientists are there, okay. Um, now we get to go and raid the ship. I'm playing, I forgot I'm playing on Iron Man mode, so my consequences are uh, there forever. To crash Site 1, we're going to intercept with with our Chucknook and begin our first battle against the aliens. Engage. This mod introduces new mechanics, new content, and an extended campaign, which can be confusing and overwhelming for new players. All right, the ground combat. Xenonauts has has turn-based combat. Each unit has a number of time units, which can be used to perform actions. Um. Uh. End turn. Okay, the current turn can be ended by pressing end turn, which will play out the alien turn and then begin a new player turn. Returning all Xenonauts to full time units. Left kicking on a move destination. Pretty much this is pr pretty much self-explanatory. But the our objective is to the objective of this mission is to secure the UFO which will contain artifacts or research or alien materials that you can use to build advanced technology. Other alien items recovered from the battlefield will automatically be sold granting you additional funding. The simplest way to win this mission is to eliminate all the alien units on the map. This will automatically end the mission and recover all alien artifacts from the battlefield. However, you can also win the mission by killing all the aliens inside the UFO and then holding it with at least one soldier for five turns. See, this right here, I didn't know that. I didn't know that when I when I started playing this game. I don't know you have to like leave a dude in the UFO for five turns to win the game. I just, what I did was I just killed everything. If the UFO has been shut down, a number of the crew are likely to have died on impact and some of the recoverable items may have exploded or been destroyed. A landed UFO will contain more recoverable items, but will also contain more aliens. Remember to use smoke, suppression, or shields to reduce the amount of reaction fire your soldiers take when they assault their UFO. Okay, well, so let me read this again. However, you can also win the mission by killing all the aliens inside the UFO. So we have to kill all the aliens inside the UFO. And, um, all right, so these are my dudes, my, my 16 brave souls with very high, um, stats. I, I, I have to not let them die. All right, people, um, where's the sergeant? I don't know where he's at or gotta find that guy. Gotta find that son of a bitch. All right, people, this is Robin here. Oh my God, we, we spot one. Anyways, listen, people, we have to survive this mission in order for us to get better gear. Now, there we are the best of the best, there, but there's only 20 of us, which are really good. So so if four of us die, don't, don't worry, we, we, we're, we're still okay. We gotta kill all these aliens. From, but like, like, <clears throat> but like, man, like, Dude, like, dude, like, oh my god, why do I have to d come here on this stupid ass mission with you stupid ass cannon fodder? Well, that's because, that's, Andres, watch your mouth. Well, we are all here for the same reason, you know? Well, you know, we gotta defend the earth, you feel me? You feel me, fam? Uh, okay, Carol's gonna go on, uh, oh my, oh, okay, he's, he's with us, okay, that's good, okay. Um, yeah. Shotgun. Alex, if we have another friendly over here, that's that's exciting. Let's go, people. Let's let's go. Let's let's uh um let's uh let's, sh let's kill these people. These these aliens, my my dude. Oh my God, he's she's shooting back. Normally, I always get a sniper because they they are always really good at you know shooting people.
Um, you know, this alien's gonna like unleash a hellfire of shots at us, and we won't be able to do, to do anything against that. Seriously, where, where, where the hell is my sniper? There he is. Alright, good. We got we got one shot in. Oh no. Oh well. That's one soldier I can't use anymore. Oh my god, die, my guy. Freaking get out of here, my dude. We we need we need to like survive this battle. Andres is going to stay on the ship. <laughs> oh wait, that was a stun grenade. Damn, I was trying to get the I was trying to get the smoke grenade, my guy. I con you. Oh my leg, shot my leg. We got some psionics dude and that's trying to do, to do some stuff to our guys. Why are all the civilians in this game armed with shotguns? Robin is, the sergeant is bleeding my guy. He's, he is bleeding. Do we, do we have a medic? Yes we do, we, we have, I think everybody's a medic. Yeah, everybody's a medic. All right, people. Let's let's uh, all right, people. Let's let's uh, let's finish these people off. You know what's uh, what's like oh, meow, meow, meow. Yeah, yeah, he's dead. That guy that guy died from close quarters. You know, that's where that's where it's at. All right, people. Let's let's move forward. Let's, let's go, guys. We gotta find that UFO. Oh, this is a beautiful looking water. Okay, yeah, like. Absolutely really breathtaking. Oh, we found the UFO. We just gotta go in, the, in that bitch and ho ho hold it, bruh. Oh my, yo, wait, what? Oh, there was an alien right there. No, actually, no, that's a civilian, never mind. I thought that was an alien. Is this an alien? That's no, not an alien, that's a civilian. Oh god, Chris is gonna die. A terrible death. Come on, Marines, we gotta move forward. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Let me uh, let me take this gun with me. It's the me found. You know, gotta, gotta you know, uh, experimentals. In this game, you there's destructible environments, so, so you can shoot one of these doors or windows and, and like get inside that bitch and look around. Pretty cool.
Oh shit! Oh no, he's he got stunned actually. He's not dead, he just he's just knocked out. What the hell is that noise, my guy? Yo, that... That is a Xenomorph, my dude. But where where is he at? Where is the Xenomorph at, my guy? I took up all my action points. It's like die, my guy. All right, he's dead. Killed him. That's two down for us. This guy is gonna get knocked down pretty soon, so I I gotta do something to uh make this guy survive longer and the civilian I think there was a way to uh, switch the, the civilian over here like make him like the hell out the way I don't I don't remember unless that was from like, the other a different game I think that was from a different game Shit. Oh my god, the freaking door. It's destroyed. The door is destroyed. I don't have anyone that's like close by to actually help out. He's dead and we killed him. He's he's no longer existing on this base. Now we just gotta somehow make it our make our way inside of the base. Without having all our dudes destroyed. Oh shit! Hey yo, uh, yo, 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 watch, watch yourself, my guy. Oh my god, there's a bigger one. Oh my, he broke the fence. Yo, there's so much of them, my dude. We gotta kill them. What is this man doing on our ship? Oh my 
God. Oh my god, it's like die, my guy. Oh my, the poison, my dude, it got on, it got on us. Mm, Chris. All right, we killed the three dudes that were outside. Now we just gotta f somehow focus all our attention on the people that are inside of the ship. Oh man, that guy is still bleeding. Alright, he is not bleeding anymore. That is good. Alright, people, we're gonna have to go on that ship and, you know, not die. Somehow. Corporal Cadiata, you are in front. If anything happens, I want you to shoot at the people, you feel me? But uh, guys, get over here, we need you. Got it, boss. Boss, man. like Andres is like this is such a drag sir why do we have to go through this this process because man this is what we gotta do what we gotta do you know we came here to make these civilians not die we, we need we need to not make the civilians die yeah next next mission I'm bringing more uh, snipers because snipers are cool Ah, oh, gee whiz, dude, I'm I'm okay. I am I am all her all her gear dropped on the floor. That's the uh, that's some that's some poo poo. Oh shit. 
Oh, stun. Whoa, watch watchers. Oh my, there's four or more aliens in that bitch. Shit. Oh my god, you are dead, sir. You are dead too, sir. We, we are all dead, actually. But let's, let's be honest with ourselves. Oh, he's he's stunned. Man, everybody's surviving like a tank. I killed him. He's dead.
Come on, finish them. All right, they're all dead now. Yes, for sure. I mean, we, we, we didn't hold it for five turns, but hell. We survived. Everybody survived. So nobody died. Let's say that's a victory in my books. Let's see. Um, we got one kill. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There was eight kills here. Someone got a medal. Medals are always cool. <laughs> Alien alloys. Anyways, thanks for watching, everybody. We we finally got the jackal armor, so we're gonna, we're gonna be using that. Thanks for watching. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't. It really helps the channel, my dude, my dudettes.